training, <laughs> like they didn't want to go home. No, yeah, exactly. And uh, you get to a point too, you know, where you're like, all right, we're not playing for a tie here in the bottom. Let's go for the win. So uh, yeah, it was a long day. Uh, I made a couple changes trying to get some guys over some thresholds. Jack and Chap, you know, 230 is better than 228, 250 is better than 248. So you make those changes as you know rain's coming, then all of a sudden, like, sun comes out, you're like, oh, here we go. Uh, but yeah, we battled, uh, won the series, you know, obviously we finished series wise on a good note. Talk about the uh, three run in the second uh, inning. You won one, one nothing, you came back, you scored with three runs. Yeah, it went, went, went your way. Finally got some hits, you know, again, uh, they, they were out of pitching, so they went to the bullpen. Uh, so it's kind of one of those things that we need to just put some hits together. Jack came up with a big RV, you know, duck two RBI deal there. And, uh, you know, again, you know, we gave up that big long home run to Farrell. That, that ended up being what hurt us, even though we tied it back up. Uh, you know, we kind of were rolling there a little bit. Angel lost it uh, and, and gave up that long home run. Look at the whole season. The record wasn't great, but uh, you think uh, at least a couple of guys have really – this year. Yeah, you know, again, I'm, I'm proud of Luber and, and Julio and what they deal with guys. We got a lot of guys moved up to Double A, uh, which again, minor leagues is a prospect-driven, obviously, entity, and so you get those guys moved up. So I'm proud of what they did. Uh, a little disappointed in some of the other guys that, that didn't have as good a year. Uh, you know, I always try to figure out how to get every player better. I thought a couple guys just kind of hung on there uh, and, and didn't finish strong. Uh, so I'm disappointed in that, but. Overall, I think it was a success, just just on a development standpoint. I think you had ten guys promoted. To yeah, nine, nine to double A, one to triple A. So. Yeah, so you know, again, it's you know when you, when you really sit back, being a competitor, obviously you want to win. Uh, you want to teach you guys how to win, uh, but sometimes it's just not time for some guys. You know, you, you lose some of those little older players, the pitching. Uh, you know, obviously the, the the big bats in the middle of the order. You lose those, and you know maybe just wasn't our guy's time yet. What you seen Justin Trapp today? He hit the ball well and scored the tie run. Yeah, again, you know Trapp's Trapp's been there every mainstay. Uh, even where we when we were where we were winning, Trapp was a big part of that. Uh, kids come a long way, and uh, I'm proud of him. His defense got marginally better, uh, which I'm really proud of that. And so uh, yeah, it was, it was a great year in the development of him for sure. We talked to him because he played the most games there. He's yeah. got guys on this team, and you know, you played uh, in the big leagues for a long time. You think the fans and regular people know the kind of toll that playing 130 baseball games takes no, on him? No, not at all. It's one of those things that uh, until you do it, it's hard to relate to something like that. Uh, people always ask me backing up Piazza and Pudge, what was the most impressive thing, and it was watching him play every day. I mean, it's the, the grind of, of what that takes. Uh, and, and one, you got to be kind of lucky because of the foul tips and the, the hit by pitches and all the things you go through. And a kid like Trapp, he stayed healthy, took care of himself, and uh, you know, obviously, to, to have that kind of year is big. And now he's going to Australia. He's going to play yeah. some more. <laughs> Which I played in Australia way back, 1995. It's a great experience. Uh, he'll love it over there. And, and you know, his deficit, he'll tell you, is just kind of his baseball awareness. And so, anytime he can kind of play and learn the game, it is a big deal for him. Right in the middle of an interview. You guys really, really can't go around. You haven't learned anything this year, Ferguson. <laughs> How would you rate this season? Um, again, I, I, you know, last year you could rate the whole season well and go to the playoffs and come within, you know, a pitch or so of going to the, the, the uh, championship round. This year you got to break it into parts. Uh, obviously, I rate it great on the fact that a lot of our prospects got, you know, moved up, uh, which is a big deal for the organization. Uh, I haven't really thought about it, but you know, guys like. You know, Jack Lopez had a great second half, Scott better, so you can rate that one way. Uh, some guys that were repeating, uh, you know, like a kid like Beltre, you know, you're like, well, you didn't quite get him over the hump. Uh, injuries, and then he had a family mercy left for a extended point of time. So I really haven't sat back and, and broke down like that. Um, so just on the spot, I would say he was successful in the fact that, you know, being as prospect driven, uh, you know, our guys did a nice job with him.